We need to stop having the impact on the environment that we have right now with the carbon-based fuels that we're currently using for most of our energy production. The other reason for this is that the other reason to get off of carbon-based fuels is, to, is that of national security as far as importing uh, resources from other countries and subsidizing other countries. Um, that's certainly not a good thing. The, uh, the final, I'd say, that probably one of the most subtle reasons and perhaps even most important reasons why we should wean ourselves off of carbon-based fuels is price volatility. So carbon-based fuels inherently are, are volatile in their cost. And the thing that's quite interesting about renewable resources is, first of all, they're domestically produced. And secondly, we can control, by virtue of the fact that they're domestically produced, the cost of energy from the energy that's generated from those resources. So cost of energy is directly linked to the cost of producing goods and therefore our economy. So the point is, you can, if you get your energy from a sustainable source, you can control the cost of goods sold and therefore the economy. Makani Power is developing a new type of wind turbine. Essentially what we're doing is we're making a low mass wind turbine, a wind turbine that flies in the sky almost like a kite and gets rid of the tower, the hub, two of the blades of a wind turbine and accesses a resource which is higher up and outside of the reach of conventional wind turbines. So the advantage of that is we get rid of about 90% of the mass of a conventional turbine. We also access this resource which is higher up in the sky and it's stronger and more consistent than conventional wind turbines can reach. So that has the impact of being able to reduce the cost of energy from wind, but then also broaden the resource which can be accessed. So we can get to wind, affordable wind, in every state in the country, broaden the resource onshore in the United States from 15% of the continent to 70% of the continent.